Nobody wants a slow side. We all want a quick site that can beat all the competition in Google. So very recently, like last week, Google came out and told us that maybe this is not as big of a deal as they initially said it would be. They more called it like a tiebreaker, meaning all things being equal, if you have a slightly faster site, maybe you will beat that other site in the Google search results. So they also said that the best content will still rank at the top of Google and not the fastest content. But this is a ranking factor and it's something that we can totally control. So we need to get this right. So I want to show you exactly which plugins I deleted on Go Downsize and which new ones I added. And also I want to share with you some really easy tips that I learned along the way that can really tweak your page speed score. So come with me to the screen and I'll show you everything I did. I like to use Google's own tool here, the PageSpeed Insights, and you can see here it scores 99 on desktop and 100 on mobile. Sometimes it's 100 on both. And here I just use the contact page because the contact page is a very, very light page where I do not have any ads here. If I go to edit page here, you'll see I disabled them here with the ad five plugin. Disable all ads. That's very easy to do with ad five. You can also do it with image ads only or in the content. But I don't want to have ads on my contact page and the about page and so on because I want it to be very, very easy for people to find the contact information in case they want to link to us or use us in a feature piece or whatever. So that's why I used this page here and I also took another test for a very regular article here. You can see with all the ads all over the place here from Ad Thrive and this page here with ads on scores 86 on mobile and 99 on desktop. So that's pretty cool too. In fact, it's really, really good because ads will always slow down your site regardless of whether they come from Ezoic, Mediavine, Ad5 or whatever where they come from or AdSense, they will always slow down your site a lot. So getting to 86 here on the mobile is great. And you don't need to focus that much on the desktop because typically that scores very high. We just want to focus on the mobile side of things here because Google is judging your site based on the speed scores for the mobile page. And a quick note here, you can also use this tool here. It does pretty much the same thing. And this one here is also commonly used, but GG metrics here will only give you the score for the desktop version. So that doesn't really matter much in today's world where everything is mobile first and Google is 100% looking at how your site performs on mobiles, just to get that clear. So if we go back here to see how the site performs, uh, let's just take this one with ads here because that makes more sense. So at the top here, you'll see how this URL performed over a 28 day period. So since I did these updates pretty recently, it's not reflected here yet. So you want to look at the lab data as soon as you make any changes. So you'll see here, there's some thing I can do here about the time to interactive and you need to get below 3.8 here to be in the green and the total blocking time here that needs to be below 300 milliseconds before you are in the green. But yellow is still fine here. I'd say scoring 86 with ads on the side is pretty awesome. And if we go to the desktop version, you'll see everything checks in the green here. But there's still a few things that needs to be tweaked. Ad5 is coming out, I guess, in two, three days with a few more updates to reduce some of these uh, shifts in layout and a few other things they can do to pass these scores here with the perfect score. And we'll also a little later in this video be looking into the new tool from Ezoic called Leap because I had some early access to it to show you guys what it looks like. So we'll get to that as well. So let's talk about one of the major things that will impact your site speed. And that of course is the choice of theme you're using on your WordPress site. So I go with Astra. You've probably heard me toot that horn many times. Another theme that's very fast is the cadence theme and also generate press is also super, super lightweight and fast, but I like the Astra theme and it loads really fast out of the box. So there are a few things that you want to check in the theme settings to make sure that we have very few calls to external servers during the load. So let's go in here to customize and I'll show you one setting in particular. So if you go to global and which fonts are used on the site, you want to use one of these 
system funds up here. So we have just a few here, one, two, three, four, five. And then we have like, what are the like 500 here from Google. So you don't want to use these from Google because they will need to load from a Google server. So by using one of these system funds, you're actually using a fund that's built into all the browsers. And that means whether people are using Firefox, Safari or Chrome or whatever, they will have these funds here already installed in the browser. No external server calls has to be made and everything will load faster. So that's just an easy way to do that. And of course, these fonts here are very, very broadly applicable. So you don't need to mess around with this. Just use one of these. Okay, so let's take a look at the plugins that I deleted on this site. First of all, I just got rid of Elementor. You probably heard me talk about Elementor quite a lot. I really, really liked Elementor. But in order to get the best scores here, we had to let it go. I just had to get rid of it. So the last week or the last 10 days, I've been updating most of my sites and removing Elementor and it's taken some time. But I'm pretty happy that I didn't customize each page on my website. I just use templates and I use them all across the site. So all my blog posts follow the same template and all my archive pages, my category pages also follow the same template. So it wasn't that big of a deal actually. It was mainly the about page, the contact page and so on. And let's take a quick look at this after we looked at the front page here. So you'll see here how I'm just using the Gutenberg page builder now. And you can do stuff like this here. It's not super advanced and you could also install like extra block plugins to get more features here. Like if you wanted the pagination links here, the links to page number two, three, four, five, and so on. And I'm pretty sure it's coming. I heard somebody from Gutenberg say recently that they are adding that soon. And you know, they are adding a ton of things all the time. So this will just keep getting better for us. And I could also do this. And I mean, I used no plugins for this. I just used the Gutenberg page builder that's built into WordPress. Let's check out the about page here. I just use a two column section up here and the three column here and here. And I mean, this is pretty decent. I think this is, this looks great. It's not as cool and it doesn't have as many features as when I was using Elementor. But I mean, this is so, so much faster. I'm sure this is credible and trustworthy enough for people to see that this is a great site that they can feel comfortable linking to if they want to use it as a source. And that's basically what I use the about page for here. And then I also got rid of the Astra Pro plugin. So you can pay them to get some extra features. And I just got rid of those. I don't think those were ever really crucial. I mainly use them to get the lazy loadings. I could get more articles loading when people reach the bottom after they read a blog post. But I didn't really see any impact on my ad earnings or anything else for that matter. So I just removed it again to save some paid speed. And then I got rid of another plugin I just had sitting there that would help me export all the URLs on the site. When I like to do things in Excel, I can always install it again. And you can also really just deactivate it in order to take it out of the equation to make your sites faster. You don't need to delete it. You can just deactivate it and activate it again if you want to use it later. And then I also deleted the short pixel and the W3 total cache plugins because I switched this site here to VP Rocket. So that's a new plugin that I installed because AdFrive told me that I should probably get the VP Rocket plugin. So I think it's $49 and I got a 20% discount from being an AdFrive user. So I mean, that doesn't mean anything because this site here is making way up in the five figures per month. So it doesn't really matter to pay like 40 bucks per year, I think it is. And then I've removed a plugin to show some more data about each writer. So if you go into an article, if you scroll all the way to the bottom here, I used to have a little box down here showing people some more information about the writer. But since I do have that link up here, if you click that, you'll have it on a little page here and you can click here to go to the about page, and read more about me. I don't really think that's necessary. And that also gave me a few more scores up in the page speed and site scores. And I still have two plugins that I need to get rid of. And one of those is called Short Code Ultimate. And it's the plugin I've been using for many years. It's a plugin that gives me a lot of formatting features so I can insert columns and stuff that we can do for free with Gutenberg now. So I asked my developer to send me a list of all the URLs that have any of these short codes implemented on the URLs. I can get rid of them and then eventually get rid of that plugin. And the last one I haven't gotten rid of yet is called TablePress. And that's 
for creating tables that you can reuse with short codes. And of course we can build those now in Gutenberg and we can even make it into reusable blocks. So there's really no need to have a tables plugin anymore. But I also still need to update these tables and turn them into Gutenberg blocks. So even though I'm not completely done yet, I would say I'm pretty much there. There's a few things more to be done and Ad5 needs to do a few things on their side. And then I'm in the 90s on both mobile and desktop with ads on the side and I'm very happy about that. So let me show you a little bit more here about the VP rocket settings. I literally just went in and switched on everything I could and there was a few settings that I needed to deactivate again. Let me show you here in the add-on section. I also switched this one here on. They would load the Google Analytics code a little later. That means that sometimes it wouldn't load, other times it would load too slow after the user bounced and that would just give me skewed numbers. So my traffic numbers looked lower than they actually were. That also messed up my numbers with AdFry because then the RPM, the earning per thousand page views, appeared to be inflated to look higher. So I needed to switch this one off again. And of course I'm not using any Facebook pixels or anything like that, you know, I'm really not a fan of Facebook and Twitter and all these social platforms that will never send us traffic anyway. But um, I really just went in here and switched almost everything on. I don't have any logged in users, so this one didn't make sense, but I just went in here and click, 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 turned all of it on. There were very, very few things that I needed to disable again. Everything worked just great. If you want to use the VP Rocket plugin here, I do have an affiliate link in the description and also on my tools page if you want to check that out. Thank you if you want to use that. Now, I also promised you guys to show you the Leap tool from Ezoic. It's not fully out yet. I did get some early access to show you some stuff here. You can see here a few recommendations. As you can see on the screen here, they actually do not recommend Astra as of right now, but they told me that they are working on this. And remember, this tool is not out yet. So they're fixing a few things with the Leap tool. So Astra will work perfectly also here. And also Astra just... I think yesterday or two days ago came out with a new update. I also did a little super, super short video about this on the YouTube channel. And um, Astra just optimized their theme even more. So it's extremely fast now. I'm pretty sure they uh, compare very well to all the other themes now. There have been some competition recently from the Cadence theme and also I think it was a Generate Press or something like that. But um, it should definitely work flawlessly with the Leap tool. At least that's what uh, they are telling me right now that they're working on that. Just there's just a little side note here. Um, there's some word fence settings as well. So these are the recommendations. You'll go in here and you'll see what is slowing down your site. And of course, this is really, really new yet. I don't even think it's out for the public yet. So there might be some tweaks here that gets updated till you see it for your site. And then every time you fix something here, you just click scan my site and it will update. So you can sort of use this here as a checklist to make sure that you fix all the issues that are with layout shifts or whatever. So let's see what else we have here in Leave. You can go in here in core vitals and see how your site is performing on mobile and desktop and see if you are in the green, in the yellow or in the red. And you can go to optimization settings and check on a lot of things. And then you have the overview tab over here where you'll see some overall scores. So I'm excited to see how this tool will work. I haven't had time yet to really dive into it. They just allowed me access last night because I was filming this video today. I have another video you need to watch if you want to understand exactly what's going on with these new Google updates about page speed. It's called the Google Page Experience Update and I have a link to it in the description and you can also see here what the thumbnail looks like if you want to find it here on my channel. So give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I'll see you guys next time.